What's up guys, it's Cryptid Hunter. I got a story for you today. I called it the little boy at the airport. I hope you guys like it. The story takes place in uh, Mexico a few years back. The airport is now abandoned, is demolished. But before it completely stopped being used, um, a couple planes still landed there. It still had, you know, all the basic necessities for an airport. It had a rental car place, it had two security guards, and it had a couple, just enough people to run the airport. This, uh, this particular day when this, this happened, uh, there was only about five people left at the airport. It was two security guards and uh, three of the employees. So this night, as the airport was getting ready to shut down for the night, most of the lights were being turned off. The conveyor belt where you pick up your luggage was already shut off. And security was making their final rounds through, through the building to make sure nobody was around. One of the security guards that was at the security office where they have all the monitors saw that there was a little four or five year old boy playing around in the or near the conveyor belt. So he radioed the other security lady that was there to go check it out. As she went to the to the spot, she she saw that there was a little four or five year old boy dressed in a little sailor outfit with the little shorts, the shirt and the little sailor hat was playing by the conveyor belt. So she decided to approach the little boy and ask him, hey, you know, what, what are you doing here? Where's your mom? The little boy told security that, you know, my mom told me to wait for her here. So she decided to stay with him and radioed back to the little security booth or security office to have whatever remaining employees were at the airport help search for the little boy's mom. So before they did that, some of them, or most of them, it was a small airport, went towards the conveyor belt area to see who was a little boy or see if they, they recall seeing the little boy come in with somebody. None of, them, none of them really saw the little boy come in with anyone, so they decided to look around the airport, bathrooms, and all the areas they can search for to see if there was somebody still at the airport. The airport was not that big to begin with, so they didn't really see anybody or they didn't find his mom. So security decided that she was going to take the little boy to the office to wait for the police to arrive so they can do a report about the, the little boy being uh, left there by himself. Um, right before they did that, the, the other employees kept questioning the little boy, what does your mom look like or where does she go, what happened? And all the little boy kept telling them, my mom told me to wait for her here. That's all he would say. Nothing else. He would just simply say, my mom told me to wait for her. He was four years, five years old, so they didn't really think much of it. So security decided to uh, go ahead and take the little boy with her or with her to the to the office, to their security office. And they had to go through a long hallway. The lights were already off, but there was a little bit of light coming through from the outside. So it was somewhat lit, but not not really. While that was happening, the rest of the employees decided to go back to their areas and start closing up all the doors and shutting everything down. Well, <clears throat> a few minutes later, or a few seconds later, when security was walking towards or through the hallway, she started just screaming, like losing her mind. Everybody that was, uh, the rest of the employees came out, kind of gathered together around the same area or by the entrance of the, the hallway next to the conveyor belt and they saw her running towards them and then just freaking out. She was just freaked out like she had seen something like really strange or weird. She would just wouldn't talk. They were trying to question her and they were trying to ask her what's wrong, what happened, but no words would come out of her mouth. She was just like, she was just paranoid. So they decided, they decided to call an ambulance. The ambulance arrived about 10 minutes later. Once the ambulance arrived and she was able to speak a little, everybody was questioning her about what happened. Where's the little boy? They couldn't see, find the little boy. So she started, you know, calming down and then she started telling them that she was walking with the little boy through the hallway. She was holding the little boy's hand. So she was questioning the little boy, hey, so what does your mom look like? And, you know, where is she? Where do you guys came from? Where do you come from? Or why did she leave you there by herself? 
she wasn't really getting a response from the little boy at that point. And she said that she was holding his hand, but he felt light. When she turned around and looked at the little boy at one point, she said it was so dark in the hallway that she can barely make up the little boy's face, but she didn't think anything of it. As they kept walking, the boy completely got light. She couldn't feel the boy anymore other than the little boy's hand. So she turned down and looked at him, but all she can see was her holding a little kid's hand. There was no body, there was no arm, there was no little boy. All there was was the, the hand part that she was holding. So that's when she freaked out, <clears throat> ran back where everybody was and started screaming and everything. Nobody really knows where the little boy came from. Nobody recalls seeing where the little who the little boy came from. So they they just all kind of went in a panic. The airport is now closed. It's demolished. It's been demolished. It's no longer in use. Some, some people claim to see a little boy that still walks around the the airport or the area where the conveyor belt used to be. Some people claim to hear the boy say, I'm waiting for my mom. So whether it's true or not, I guess I'll let you decide. All right. So hit like if you like. Please subscribe to my channel. I have lots more videos coming. Hope you like it, guys. Please share us. Want to make this one of the best channels out there on YouTube, all right? I promise the videos will get better. So peace out. Stay strange. See you next time.